Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of this is another banded house. I remember this one from a, probably more than 30 years ago and it was like this then. So I know this has been abandoned at least 30 years and I got to remembering this when I said I wonder if it's still here and sure enough it is. I never did get out and look at it uh, back then to see what kind of condition it was but I'm kind of sort of amazed that it's still here I really wasn't expecting to see this still standing so I'm also kind of surprised it's not as thick around this as either like the other ones uh, that I looked at as well but you can kind of sort of see that this is some old uh, timbers I mean this is probably all rough cut and probably cut from the trees that was in this area and there again we're looking at kind of like asphalt shingle siding that has tar paper back behind it and more than likely this was added later on I, I kind of sort of expect this house here to probably be back to the 1800s it could be turn of the century let's just keep on walking around this one there again I'll take some photographs of the crawl space later on if you're interested in looking at them looks like we've had some partiers in here maybe and that's pine planking there again, I'm amazed at how well that stuff holds up. That old growth lumber is really resilient. But it, it does have a breaking point. You can see where it looks like termites have been in this. And probably what's happened was they got into sap and they got out of it. Uh, some, of the, some of that heart pine you know, has a good bit of sap in it. Looks like they used tin to cover this roof, cover this window. I forgot to bring my machete again. You know, this thing probably got added on over the years, and that's probably an added on outhouse. And it looks like they did do some, uh, this is four by four there, so that was, this probably put some of this addition in the 60s. There's the fireplace. You always wonder, you know, what the backstory is of these old abandoned houses. I probably ought to take the time to try to dig into that some as well. Yeah, some of this probably collapsed just from storm damage. Some beautiful live oaks back here. We're in the old country. This is not too far from where uh, General Steele's Corps camped during the Civil War. In fact, his troops probably was in this area too. Gotta really be careful where how I walk around this thing. You see that right there, that's terracotta. Uh, a lot of the field lines uh, used this product and also some plumbing systems uh, had this terracotta pipe in it as well uh, for sewer drain. Yeah, and that's why you gotta really watch where you're walking. Looks like there's a big sump. That might have been where there was an outhouse at one time cistern for it so it's like the drain right there 
Yeah. More than likely, this is a, where an outhouse was. It's right there. I'm going to zoom into that so I can see later what that is. You can see that. See, that's all rough cut. Uh, so more than likely, this was cut from the trees right here on this property. And there again, this one in particular, I know has been here a vacant like this for over 30 years. And you got the old Isaiahs. Yeah, so my theory is that this probably was occupied in the 60s and 70s. It was around 19... Around 1981, when I remember this being vacant then, and it was grown up too, so I know it was vacant in 81. I'm not going to be able to see until I get this on my computer. Yeah, some drywalls come down. See that hole right there? There's probably a possum that lives in that. Armadillo. And the whole front porch is caved in. That's a weird looking bottle there. It's got the old pult tabs right there. That's 70s for sure, 60s maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera underneath there and put my light with it so we can at least get a video. See, so look at that log, how that's supported with that. Yeah, that's probably heart pine log and that's why that hasn't rotted <laughs> I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing here because I'm not gonna be able to uh, see what this looks like until I get on the computer but termites did get into some of this you can actually see how it just turned that to powder Now, even this old wood has a breaking point. Well, all right, guys. Well, I think I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, I've always was curious if this was still standing, and it is, barely. And I'm going to go around this one more time and take some photographs. So there's a possibility I might have some more information to add to this. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this one. And I hope you've enjoyed it like I have. Take care, guys.